we do have some breaking news here. School officials have always said from the very beginning that they would let health and safety guide them through their reopening process, and that has now led them to rethink their reopening plans. In a reversal from the original Philadelphia School District reopening plan, we are now learning that students will continue all virtual learning at least through November. Students and teachers will not be returning to the classroom at the start of the school year in September. The original plan called for in-class learning two days a week and virtual learning the other three days. After fierce pushback from teachers and parents and continued concern about rising COVID-19 cases in the city, school officials believe it's safer to offer all online classes through the first quarter. A statement on the school district's website reads in part, quote, after careful consideration of all of the feedback it has received, district leadership is now proposing to start the school year with all students learning remotely for the first marking period, which ends November 17th. Students would then transition to the hybrid learning model, a mix of in-person and digital learning, as long as guidance from the Philadelphia Department of Public Health and other indicators support it is still safe to do so. Superintendent Dr. William Height was initially against an all-virtual learning setting in light of concerns that many students in the district wouldn't have adequate access to the internet and Wi-Fi. Well, just in reference to that, school officials say that Chromebooks will be available to any student who still does not have one, and they are also now still working with business leaders and local legislators to make sure that Internet access is available to all of those families in need. And we've also learned that Dr. Height will be holding a media availability tomorrow morning to discuss with us in a bit more detail what led to this reopening plan revision at this point. He's also going to be talking to families via Facebook Live and parents at 3 p.m tomorrow to talk about the reopening plan revision as well. That's the very latest for now. Reporting live, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Natasha, thank you.